Hi, my name is Steve Hennig. I'm here with Luigi Gratton in the Torrance Lab, the lab in which we develop a lot of new products for you. But today, we want to talk to you about breakfast, the right kind of breakfast. Nowadays, people eat three types of breakfasts. Mm -hmm. One type is no breakfast at all. You eat no breakfast, you get no calories, you get no, none of the vitamins and nutrients you really need. And the second type is what we call a quick breakfast. Grab a cafe latte, grab a muffin, you get some nutrients, but you really get it, you know, get too much sugar. Uh, and the third type is a big breakfast, a traditional breakfast, not balanced. You get some nutrients, but they're not in the right proportions. So let me turn it over to Luigi to talk to you about the physiological effect of breakfast and how, do you, how can you get the right breakfast. Luigi? Well, thank you, Steve. And it's a pleasure to be here with you, the Chief Science Officer for the company. We're here in Torrance, California, in our laboratory, which under your leadership, we do a lot of research on the products. And you'll see some of our flagship products, like Formula One in the background. But I think, Steve, you really to really focus in on the problem because you mentioned three situations. Number one, you mentioned having no breakfast at all. Number two, you mentioned a quick breakfast loaded with sugar. And number three, you also mentioned having a big breakfast, way too many calories. All of those issues really come down to a low blood sugar. And when you have that low blood sugar, you feel fatigued in the morning, tired, even when people have slept eight hours. So what's the solution? Having healthy protein, healthy vitamins, minerals, fiber, low sugar and low fat. And so we've touched on the three different examples, Steve, that you mentioned that are problematic for breakfast. So what's the solution? Well, of course, Formula One, our flagship product that we are always doing research on in laboratories all around the world, knowing that it's the best breakfast in the world. And what's so great about it? Well, all the things that we've been talking about, the high protein, the healthy vitamins and minerals, the fiber, it being low in sugar and low in fat. And so that's the best way to start off your day. Now, it doesn't matter if you need to lose weight, if you need to gain weight, or if you're just interested in maintaining a healthy weight, Formula One is the perfect breakfast. So our solution to these challenges, we're going to hear from our chairman's club, Leon Weisbein. Leon, why don't you take it away? Hello, everybody. Hello. And nutrition starts in the morning. And let's talk about the concept called breakfast. And why breakfast? Where does bad nutrition begin? We ask people. And people say, you know that it's breakfast, right? But people who don't know, and we ask, ask them question. We do it during the HOM. Uh, we ask them, when do you people think bad nutrition begin? And they say, it begins in childhood. It begins in the school, family. And we say, no, it begins every day in the morning. This is what we say. This is what we discovered. Because what began 20 years and 30 years ago, it's not relevant anymore when it began. And how and why? And of course, we didn't expect from your parents to be very savvy in nutrition, right? But now it's time to learn. Now it's time to understand that nutrition can cause problems. All right, so now it's the time to educate a population and get people aware of all potential implications. So we say it begins every day in the morning. And here's the question is coming. What have you had for breakfast today? So this is becoming, you know, the Microsoft slogan, where do you want to go today, right? So we now we've started with the new slogan, which is now universally accepted <laughs> everywhere we are working. And this is what have you had for breakfast today? This is the main question now. It's becoming main question. And later on, I'll tell you what's going on with customers. You're going to love it. Because customers, once they learn why breakfast is so important, they start and they change their breakfast and they see results, immediate results. Uh, they start asking their friends, what have you had for breakfast? Our old customers, those who wait, weight loss, the classic weight loss customers, they used to hide the fact that they are on another diet. No matter what diet, no matter what results, they want to hide. They want to come. Uh, after a couple of uh, months or three months or so, they want to come to their whatever place they work and say, look at me, I just lost weight. <laughs> and everyone say, wow, great, you just lost weight. This is what they want to achieve. They don't want to tell. I just yesterday started my 25th diet 
they don't they hide information are you aware of that people don't want to share that they and yesterday they started another one because you know everybody knows that they they've tried many times and didn't succeed and they don't want to to uh, to face it again and so on so they want to come with the result already but with this information people come and talk next day they start talking to others they start talking so our customers first time in the in my 17 years in the business they start to behave as distributors this is new beginning completely new behavior which we never seen never seen in most cases customers didn't talk in this case all customers talk they all talk they all bring friends without asking referrals this is something unusual they bring referrals they talk they call and they say can you meet this can i bring this can i some people say can i bring can 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 you come and talk to my i have in my uh, department where i work i have 70 people can you come and talk i said do, 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 do. just a second let's first get results you will and this is during the sale during this simple explanation which i'm going to give you now right people during the sale they already want to, to me to come and tell everybody the rest their families and friends and everybody so everything starts with this question why breakfast types of modern breakfast number one is carbs based breakfast the second type of uh, breakfast is a so-called balanced breakfast that still has excess carbs some people just eat toast or curacao coffee sugar okay this is kind of breakfast another one or, or cereal or something like that. everything is carbs pure simple carbs okay which immediately turn to be sugar in our blood right and the other people say no i have an omelet right and some salad and i add some some other things and a couple of toasts with the jam and coffee okay so in most cases that's the case and they call it so called balance but still that's the problem still that's the problem excess carbs and others they just skip breakfast they don't have breakfast they say i'm you know i'm this is a, this is in fashion i just skip i just smoke a cigarette then i go <laughs> i'm cool you know i'm cool i just skip I'm... this is not cool at all by the way from our body perspective this is not cool at all and this is like third of the population this is third of the population this is third of the population and the third of the population i don't know exactly what's going on in states but in some countries this is more or less the case all right so once people start this day uh, from carbs they tend to continue their day with carbs and they don't understand why and they don't know that they need to think why they they're not aware at all that something is wrong they just continue they are not educated not aware they are not savvy they don't understand nobody explained to them they didn't read articles they don't search in, in internet they don't they are not subscribed for for magazines and particular whatever newspapers and online things they just don't know but this is how they eat and some of them try to change sometimes but they can't why they can't because they can't fight with our their own body's chemistry you can't win your body okay you just need to cooperate with your body's physiology okay you don't need to fight these people they can't uh, win this situation they just continue to take a little bit of sweets and of this and coffee and drink during the day and and here's why and of course you know where it's uh, leading to it's leading to uh, obesity overweight and uh, many other problems associated with that 